Thanks for checking out this movie review video. Uh, once again, this is a review, so therefore there will be no spoilers on this because this is a movie that just kind of recently came out. Uh, it's on the Shutter streaming service, and once again, I totally endorse this this uh, platform. It is awesome. If you like horror, there's no reason that you shouldn't have this at right now. And the other thing is this video is coming out before the deadline, May 8th. May 8th, the pricing on Shutter is going to increase. So if you get signed up prior to that, you're going to get kind of grandfathered into the old pricing, which is if you pay a, a year up front is $4 a month. If you're going month to month is $5 a month. So actually, I don't know how that'll work. Um, if the $5 a month, like if, if you would only get that for the first month since you're paying month to month, I don't know, you'd have to look. And I don't know what the price is going up to. I was having a hard time actually was trying to research that and I just couldn't find it anywhere. So um, I'm assuming it's not gonna be crazy, but just to be safe, sign up now. If, if you've even been playing with the idea of getting shuttered, just do it. Trust me, it is 100% worth it. 100% worth it. If you watch one horror movie a month, it is definitely worth it. So anyway, that said, uh, this is a review for the movie Monster Party that just went up on Shudder within the past few weeks. And um, this movie, uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking down because I have notes on my phone that I just put there. This movie hit me in the middle. There were some things I really liked about it. There were some things I really didn't like about it. Overall, it's fine. If you like what you're hearing here, sans spoilers because I'm not doing spoilers, uh, I would just say go ahead and check it out. I'm glad I watched it. It's one of those movies where I'm like, I watched it. I'm not upset that I spent the time watching it, but I'm not going to watch it again, most likely. And it kind of seems more to me like um, if you do watch it once, if you have any interest in it past that maybe just put it on in the background while you're doing something so you don't have to fully pay attention to it so anyway so going off my notes uh i would say the music like the actual like full-on songs that were used in this film were integrated extremely well they went with the movie they added like a cool fun element to it and i really liked how the actual songs like straight up songs were integrated into it now, the underlying music, the actual soundtrack, um, kind of off at times. And I say that because, like, the very first song, actually, I will say, Qualifier, the very first song in the film is weird The w with what's going on and how it matches up. It's weird. It doesn't work for me. The soundtrack throughout it gets a little out of control, in my opinion. It goes overboard because when it has, like, those moments of dread where it would it would be better to kind of like subtly kind of add a little bit of, of dread to the, to the moment. It like just hits you and it's just like dread and you're like, okay, let's, let's, you know, let's take it down a little bit, take it down a few notches. Like I understand what's supposed to be going on here and that I'm supposed to feel a certain way, but you don't have to hit me in the head with a hammer with this. So that just kind of bothered me. That was one of the big things. Like they just needed to pull it back a little bit with that stuff. Pull it back. Um, very small thing in this. Uh, I hate the way asthma is portrayed in movies. The other thing is there's there's a there's <laughs> okay. It's weird to me because there's the, one of the characters has asthma and it's really like focused on. But it has no implication. Like, th there's no, pretty much no importance to it in the film. And it's just kind of a throwaway thing where I'm just like, why was that even in there? But my, but my issue with the portrayal of asthma in films is, it's not like a big thing, but I actually have asthma. So, like, I've had to use inhalers before. Thankfully, I'm on some medication where it takes care of my allergies and my asthma at the same time. So, I haven't really had to use an inhaler in a while, which is nice. But... The way people use inhalers in movies are just like, and then immediately you actually have to hold it like for a while because then it's like in your lungs and it's actually like having your bronchia, bronchii, I think, uh, expand so you can get more air capacity, uh, more air lung capacity, more lung air capacity, whatever. <laughs> so, but it's just a minor thing. It's just like a personal pet peeve. I know a lot of people would see it and just be like, yeah, whatever. Doesn't bother me at all. Just saying, that's a small thing. So there's a really weird moment in this film that really threw me off. And I was like, this doesn't feel like it fits. You should take this out. Uh, it's actually comes off as being really stupid because there's nothing else in the film that is like that. 
It's just like this one moment where a character has an aside to the camera and it, they break that fourth wall and at no other point in the film does anyone play to the camera or talk to the camera or even look at the camera. So it's like, why? Like, why did you do this? It's just like, it, it, it's like a, a skip in the record. And you're just like, what? It's dumb. It doesn't make sense. It's just, I hated it. I, I thought it was a very poor choice. You really just like messed up the flow of the film. And, and you make audi your audience be like, why? Like, why? Especially in retrospect, after the film's done. Like, why did you put that in there? There was no point. It's like the asthma thing. Like, that character with the asthma. No point. The aside to the camera. No point. Like, why are you doing this? And breaking... Once you break the fourth wall, you need to integrate that into the film. You need to make that part of the film. Because breaking the fourth wall is a big no-no in filmmaking. So if you're going to do it, you need to play to it. You need to incorporate it into the actual story. And they didn't. Not one iota. And it was just like, okay, that's dumb. Um, so uh, overall acting, a few of the performances in this were really good, really well done. Like, um, you know, Robin Tunney is is like the one, like the bigger of the names. You know, she's from like The Craft. And she, um, she did a pretty good job. There were a few other people who did a pretty good job. But there are also some people that were really over the top. Well, actually, I'd say between just over the top and really over the top. They kind of fit in the middle of that. I don't know why I did it like this. It's like, <laughs> well, I guess because it's like a graph going up. So, yeah, like in the middle of it is, um, yeah. There's some really over the top type stuff. And it's uh, acting wise. And you're just like, all right. Just like the, the soundtrack issue. You're like, tone it down, please. Tone it down just a little bit for me. But overall, I thought the acting was pretty solid appropriate enough um one of my big issues i always have issues th this isn't an issue with the, the movie itself this is an issue with people putting out movie trailers period i i always have issues with movie trailers well not always usually because they show too much of the film literally there are times where i go to the theater i see a trailer and i'm like i just saw the whole movie I don't even need to see that. And literally there are times where seeing the trailer will make me not see the movie because I'm like, that's the movie. I, I don't need to know anything else. I don't care to know anything else. That's it. You gave too much away. I'm done. I'm not watching it. And this is kind of a little bit of one of those situations where if you've seen the trailer for this movie, you pretty much know what's going on. There are a few small surprises that happened throughout the film that I did enjoy. So, I'm sorry, there's like cat fur flying in the air. It's weird. Uh, there are, yeah, there are some small surprises that ended up working really well. And they're fun, and it's cool. But the problem is, if you've seen the trailer, it ruins a lot of the film. Um, but it's also, I mean, it's a fun enough time. So, like, if you've seen the trailer and you're like, oh, that looks fun. I'd kind of like to watch a movie with that premise. Then I don't think you should not see it. Like, go ahead and watch it. But like I said, it's just worth watching once, in my opinion. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, although I will say there is a small, small payoff to having seen the trailer and then seeing the movie is there's some double entendre that ends up going on in the dialogue, especially in the mm, probably like first half hour of the film, where if you've seen the trailer and you pretty much know where everything's going to end up going, you see the double meanings in what's being said. And you're just like, oh, okay, that's clever. Because there is some clever dialogue writing. There's some, not that, like some pretty cliche dialogue in here, but there's, I think there's more cleverness in the dialogue than cliche. So it's kind of a mix. Um, it's not a super original script, to be honest. Um, but like I said, I just did a, a review for an independent film called The Fear Footage. And one of the things I said in that review, which you should check out, is, um, it, like it, we're getting to a point where there really aren't any super original ideas because everyone's kind of influenced by some films because there's so much film out there at this point. So I don't really like fault the people who made this film for it not being super original. I'm just stating like going into it, just know it's not super original. There's a lot of, I, I mean, it's kind of a face value premise in a sense, but it's a fun premise. Like I enjoyed it. It's, it's worth seeing this premise played out. Like it's good enough in my opinion. It doesn't, you know, make the film bad, the premise is a, a decent premise. Um, like I said, there are a few solid twists in there, some more enjoyable than others, but I think it's enough to keep you going. 
especially after you've seen the trailer and you're just like, I know exactly what I'm going to get. You do get a few little surprises and you're just like, oh, that was kind of nice. That was, that was nice to get something I wasn't expecting. So thank you. Um, and then, you know, and I'm, I'm doing a rating on this and I was going to rate it higher until the very, very end of the film happened. And I was like, mm, okay, because they went from being able to stop it at a logical, uh, like good point to going, just going off the cliff and being like, let's just do this instead. Let's take it further, way further than we need to, way for, further than we should. Especially because what ends up happening in the very, very end has implications with the one of the main characters. Where like, there's a whole goal, there's a whole outcome in this film for this character that would tie things up, that would take care of stuff. And then what they do in the very end has implications that nullifies all of that and just makes it like, and nothing basically mattered in a sense. And it's like, come on, we, d you didn't need to. It seemed kind of more like, let's get crazy. Like the filmmakers were like, let's get crazy now because we can. Like we have a little bit more on the budget. Let's go nuts. Let's have fun. Like those are the moments where as a filmmaker, you need to look at the whole thing view it from an audience standpoint and say, do I need to rein myself in on this right now? Do I need to stop myself from doing this or is this okay? Will this be good in the film? And I know there are probably some people who watched it and were like, yeah, that's what I want because it goes, it feeds to a certain feeling that some people may have. And I'm not going further in, in uh, defining that because I don't want to spoil anything with it. Because I think if you have had interest, you should watch it. But, um, like, I understand there are probably people who are like, oh, I really like the ending of it. And if that was you, comment down here and let me know why. That's fine. Um, it's just my personal thing. Obviously, all my reviews are just strictly personal opinions. So, uh, it's going to be different for everyone. And that's good. That's what makes the world go around. So, um, yeah, for me, it just, it, it went over the top and it, it, made me not like it as much. So I was going to go ahead and give this film out of three, out of five stars uh, with halves included. I was going to give it a three, but with that ending, I'm knocking it down to a 2.5 because I feel like it undid a lot of the stuff I kind of liked about it. So it firmly put me in the middle. 2.5 out of five is right smack in the middle. So really that's how I feel about this film. There was a bunch of good, there was a bunch of bad, and it just put me in the middle on the film. And I'm just like, it's a two and a half because I cannot say that I'm more towards the negative or more towards the positive. I just can't. So, um, but like I said, you know, if you've seen the trailer or you've heard about this movie or this review makes you at all intrigued, watch it. You know, there's no reason you shouldn't experience these films for themselves. And here I am giving you my my personal opinions on this. Yours may be totally different, which is why even when you watch these reviews or anyone's reviews or read reviews or see internet movie database ratings or Rotten Tomatoes or whatever, you should watch the film anyway because you may feel differently about it because everyone experiences film in a different way. I'm just giving you my experience, my personal opinions. Check it out for yourself. That's what I'd say for everything. But anyway, that kind of uh, wraps this up for me. Uh, people, throw out some more recommendations. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a movie analysis coming up that was um, requested by viewer uncle, or subscriber to me, Uncle Pete. I'm going to take care of that. Uh, but going forward, I would like people to put down in the comments recommendations for films they want to see me either review or do analysis on. Uh, on Shutter specifically, because I just want to keep pushing the Shutter thing, because I just love it so much. I have nothing to do with them monetarily, except I'm giving them my money for the service. But uh, I just like it. I like it a lot, and I watch that way more than Netflix at this point. I used to watch a lot of Netflix. I watch barely any Netflix now, because I watch mainly Shutter, and that's that says something. So yeah, so give me some recommendations down in the comments. Say I'd like you to review this or analyze this. And just so you know, if it's an older film on there. I'll do the analysis. If it's a newer film, I'm probably not going to do the analysis. I'll do just this review without spoilers because it's newer and I don't want to put uh, you know spoilers out there as much, you know, like m let more people experience it for themselves. But if it's older, enough people definitely should have seen it. I can do a deep dive and give spoilers no problem. 
Uh, the other thing is, please, 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 if you've seen anything in any videos I've done, hit that subscribe. It can mean a lot for my channel as far as growth, and it means I can do more, and it just encourages me, to be honest. Hit the notification bell if you want to know every time I have a video up, and if you're the person who checks that out immediately or the few people who do, it can really help with getting more views on it, which can help my channel out, so I love that. Thumbs ups are cool. You can thumbs down if you really feel like it. it. That doesn't do anything because the thumbs up and thumbs down really don't mean a whole lot, to be honest. It's mainly subscribing and putting down some comments because I want to interact with you guys. But thank you so much for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.